Well, I think that's enough spooky things for one lifetime. <sighs> you said it. I don't know. I feel like I could handle some more. I doubt it. You were so scared in that house, you were all like, Cory, save me from the scary girls! I don't sound like that. Do I? <laughs> a little. Well, well, what about Nick, huh? I mean, he almost got killed by a girl. Yeah, Nick, how exactly did you escape from Ashley and the Slender Man? I guess I was just... just... lucky. Yeah, we all were. It'll be nice to finally sleep in my own bed. Well, good night, guys. Good night, Cory. Ah! There are piles of these on my bed! Why would you bring all those with you? I didn't! That's really weird. Are they the same ones from the house? Well, this one is called Eyeless Jack. Sounds like one of the files from before. Why don't you read it? Because I'm tired of being scared and all I want to do is sleep. Then why not a bedtime story? Good point. Not really, but I guess why not? It could help us figure out more about these people keeping us here. Jack was a regular college student doing his best to get straight A's. Yes. What is it, Commander? Ugh. Why is there never anything good on TV on the weekends? Hey, Jack. Oh, hey, Jenny, what's up? I just got out of class for the night. Oh, that's always good. Mm-hmm. You have any plans for the weekend? No, not really. I haven't really been feeling like myself, so I think I might just spend it in my room. Aw, oh well. I guess I'll see you later. Yeah, I'll catch you later. Oh no, I hate the rain. Hey Jack, where have you been? Oh, I went out to catch some fresh air. In this weather? Well, it wasn't raining when I left. You'll catch a cold. Thanks, Mom. You want a game tonight? I don't know. I think I just need a good night's rest. Oh, okay. But we'll still game on Sunday, right? I can't raid a dungeon on my own. Oh yeah, definitely. It's just tonight... Tonight what? Huh? Oh, I don't know what I was gonna say. Jeez, man, you really do need some sleep. Yeah. Praise to the Hawk, savior of humanity and protector of the infinite. His blood-soaked hands will bring salvation to us all. Salvation from this world of sin and evil. Praise to the Hawk. He shall save us and bring us to everlasting paradise. Praise to the Hawk. Praise to the Hawk. Praise. Terrible. Uh, what was that dream? What did that guy say? Chernenberg? Chernabig? Chernabog? Hey, buddy. Nice to see you awake. Sleep well? <sighs> Not really. I had this really weird dream last night. Oh yeah, me too. Really? Yeah, I was driving home from school with my brother, right? And he turns into this giant plant monster, you know? And I'm like, this little shop of horrors? And then he just eats me. Can you believe it? He eats his only brother. That does sound really weird. What about you? What about me? You said you had a weird dream. Right. Yeah. There was this priest guy. He had robes and this mask on him. He talked about this thing called Chernabog. 
And you say my dream was weird. Yeah, because it was weird, Greg. Sounds to me like you've been playing too much Silent Hill. That's absurd. You can never play too much of that. Well, this guy's gonna turn into a murderer. How can you tell? That's how these stories work. Just a lonely, everyday guy, and then boom, something spooky happens and he turns into a deranged psychopath. Just like that last one, Tiki Toby. Yeah, but he was different, though. Well, this one's a little too scary. Ancient gods named Cher No Nanonat Blarg? Yep, that's how you pronounce it. All I'm saying is that we don't need to be reading this story at all. I'm enjoying it. Well, if you're gonna keep reading, I'm gonna need some snacks. Wait, we actually use that closet? Yeah, it's where I keep my Slurpee machine. Nope, nah, -uh. mm -mm, not a chance. Uh huh? That's not real. Nope. What's wrong? Just look. What's wrong, guys? We never left! Oh, God. I know! How could this have happened? Well, that sign said there were nine rooms we had to go through. Well, let's see, there was the first room. Right, and then there was the fog candy room. Then the no shadow room, and then the all shadow room. Then the tree room. Then another small room, followed by us going into the mansion. So would that make this the ninth room? It would appear that way. Nick, you're being awfully quiet. Oh, um, I'm just so dumbfounded. Well, I've lost all hope. Don't lose all hope just yet. Things could get worse. How could they get any worse? We could be stuck here with my mother-in-law. Tommy, you don't have a mother-in-law. Let's not lose our heads now. Right, maybe we can learn something from this file. That's never worked before. But it might work this time. So, where were we? Hello? Hey, Jack. Oh, hey, Jenny. What are you up to today? Well, I'm just studying. On a Saturday? Have you no sense of decency? <laughs> Well, I usually want to get this done early, and then I can just enjoy my weekends, you know? That's so... nerdy. I guess so. Listen, me and some friends are going to be playing in the woods at our secret hangout. Wanna come? Secret hangout? <laughs> yeah, it's what we call this cave we found in the woods behind the college. Sounds pretty weird. <sighs> you coming or not? Well, sure. Do you know where you're going? Of course I do. It's right up ahead. Hey guys. Who's that? This is my friend Jack. Jack, this is Bobby and Sarah. Nice to meet you. You shouldn't have brought him here. Don't be a stick in the mud, Sarah. He's cool. Fine. Sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. Nonsense. I've heard a lot about you. You heard about me? Of course. I see you at the library all the time. Well, I do have a 3.96 GPA. And you were going to study all day? So what do you guys do out here? We mostly read books on the occult and such. That's... interesting. Yeah, we're all the way into that type of stuff. Hmm. Have you guys ever heard of Trinobog? Where did you hear that name? Well, it was in a dream of mine, but I must have heard it somewhere else. I have to leave. Did I say something? No, you said nothing wrong. Sarah can be a little flaky sometimes. Okay. 
Hey, Greg. Where have you been all day? I was worried sick. I was out. On a date, huh? My man. It wasn't a date. Well, who were you with? You know that Jenny girl from Organic Chemistry? Yeah, dude. Well, I was hanging out with her and her friends. They found this rad cave behind the school. Jack, you, you shouldn't be hanging out with those kids. Why? They're into some freaky stuff, man. I think they're in a cult. They're not in a cult. How do you know? Because stuff like that doesn't happen in real life. Whatever you say. Jack! Jack! Wake up! Huh? What? There's a fire in the woods. No way. Yes way. Look! It's in the woods. That's where Jenny hangs out. We need to make sure she's okay. No way, man. I'm not going in there. Come on, man. It's going to be fine. No chance. I recognize a dangerous situation when I see one. Fine. I'll go alone. What the heck? Jack, I'm so glad you came. I was just leaving. No, you'll be staying. What's what's happening? Stop! My eyes are burning! So burning! Jack! Jack! Please, release me into paradise. You don't deserve paradise. You all deserve to burn. I know I say this a lot, but that's the last one I'm ever reading. I didn't think it was that bad. Wasn't that... wasn't that bad? Yeah, we've read worse. Like Tiki Toby. I bet Toby could take on Eyeless Jack any day. Sure. So, what did we learn from that? Don't trust girls? Yeah, I think that's the main takeaway. Well, either way, we can stay here, or we can go and venture out into the mansion and try to actually escape. I vote go. I vote stay. Nick, why would you want to stay? Well, I mean, we are in our apartment. But it isn't our apartment. It's a devilish duplicate. This place gives me the creeps. We're leaving. Well, maybe they aren't as dumb as I thought. Oh, don't worry. They are dumb. They won't be making it out of here alive. Oh yeah? I've brought in someone that will make sure of that. Why does it feel like we're getting nowhere? Because we've been inside here for what feels like ages. Guys, I don't think there's any way out of here. We've been going in circles forever. There has to be a way out. We can't give up now. I mean, to be fair, we totally could give up, though. That's true. You guys are hopeless. Let's try the front door. Dang it, it's locked! What 
you doing, Corey? There has to be some sort of secret pathway out of this room. That seems highly unlikely. Nick, why are you being so negative about everything? I think this is a rational response to everything we've been through. Ugh. Hey, there's some more files over here. More? How many of these stories can there possibly be? Oh my gosh, maybe that's the real scary story. There's- there's infinite of them! Let me see one of them. Ben Drowned, a haunted video game. This one actually sounds interesting. Really? Yeah, I like video games at least. Why don't you read it to us? Fine, I'll read it, but right after we have to figure a way out. Okay? Okay. Sure. Now let's see. Oh, it's a website post. Okay, internet. I've got a story for you. I swear this is real, and I'll post as much proof of this as I can. First, let me give you a little backstory. I'm an avid gamer. I play all the time, and although I like the newer stuff, classic games is where my love truly lies. I play the N64 all the time, and I'm always on the hunt for hidden gems. So the other day, I went to the garage sale. Can I help you find anything? Just sort of browsing. Thanks, though. Well, there must be something you want. Well, I guess I am looking for some old video games, but I haven't seen any around, so... Oh, I think I do have some. Let me go check my son's room. Oh, well, you don't have to sell me his stuff. Nonsense. He won't be using it anymore. I'll be back in a jiffy. Okay, I, uh, I guess I'll just wait here. Here's my son's old stuff. This one looks really interesting. How much? Oh, you can have it for free. Are you sure? Yes, the kid who used to live here. He won't be needing it anymore. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. My pleasure. I, uh, I guess I'll be going now. Goodbye, Ben. As soon as I got back to my dorm room, I had to plug it in. The cartridge looked like a bootleg. I've dealt with them before, and they usually have some fun glitches or bad transitions or whatever else to find. But even then, I wasn't prepared for what happened when I started it. When it launched, I realized there was already a game under the name Ben. I saw they had almost beaten the game. I started up my own file, but as much as I played, I noticed little glitches. The game would randomly call me Ben or nothing at all. It scared me a little bit, but 
I kept playing because I was hoping to reach the end. I tried using this classic glitch that would give me the extra day to complete all the side quests, but after I did that, I found that the Skull Kid was hovering over me. I was about to turn off the game when it started to speak to me. You're not sure why but apparently you had a reservation. I refused to think that the game was actually talking to me. I turned it off and just tried to go to sleep. That night, I had a dream about the game. I was in Clock Town, but it was real life. I tried to walk out of the town, but each time I got too far away, I got teleported back to the center. I kept trying and failing to escape. On my final attempt, I got further than I ever got before. That's when I saw it. The Elegy Statue. It will forever be burned into my memory. This is how my life continued. Constant nightmares. And the game kept calling, telling me to play it. Well, that's never happened to me in any game I've played. Yeah, lesson learned. Don't buy video games from old creepy dudes. What do you think, Nick? Nick? Where did he go? He was just here. Nick, where are you? You don't think that something got to him, do you? I don't want to think like that. I don't know, maybe he just found a way out. Without telling us? You called? Where were you? <sighs> don't run off like that, you scared us half to death. Only half? Did you find an exit? Unfortunately, no. N Nick, are you okay? You, you look really pale and your voice sounds weird. I'm fine. I'm just eager to find out what happens next. I don't think this story is very important. Nonsense. Continue the story. It's very interesting. Uh, okay. Where was I? I spent many sleepless nights thinking about the game. How haunting it was. I kept playing, finding strange aspects of it. Textures would load from different areas. Flashes of Skull Kid or the Statue of Elegy would appear. Music would play backwards. Who was this Ben kid? Why did he stop playing? I went back to the man's house to find answers. It was strange. The house was for sale and it looked a lot worse than I remembered. Maybe my mind was playing tricks on me. Or maybe not. Excuse me, do you know who lives in this house? That old house? I seem to remember there used to be a family who lived there. Their son died, then they moved away. That's terrible. How did they die? They drowned, I believe. I gotta get going now. Thank you. I kept trying to keep my mind off the game, but it kept calling to me, begging me to play it. I kept refusing until one night I was writing a paper when... Hello, Alex. Did you just talk to me? Yes. Who are you? Why are you messing with my computer? You know who I am. I bet you're just some guy who thinks it's cool to hack into another person's computer. Maybe I should just wait until you play the game. The game? It calls to you. Play the game. Are you... Ben? Yes. Ben. How are you in my computer? Cables and cords connect everything in the modern world. It's not hard to escape. So you transferred yourself into my computer? In a sense. How do I get rid of you? Play the game. And so it went. I kept playing the game, 
always dying in horrific ways that seemed unreal. At night, I had terrible nightmares. evidence of this game on my YouTube and wrote summaries, but someone changed them after I posted. Ben was altering things. He was changing them. I, I tried to beat the game, but, but Ben wouldn't let me. <laughs> this is my final warning to all of you. Don't download any of the videos I've posted. I tried to delete them, but, but Ben won't let me. I've decided to destroy the game in my computer. I can't take this anymore. And frankly, I just don't care. I thank you all for listening to my story, and I hope by hearing this, you won't make the same mistake I did. Goodbye. Well, that ended just about as well as the other stories. Okay, I'll just never interact with an electronic device ever again. Well, I liked it. Now can we please find that exit? We can certainly try. Let's fan out and try to search every nook and cranny. I'll take this corner. No, no, I can do that. No, really, it's fine, I can do it. Fine. Hey Nick, you wanna help us? Yeah, sure, right. Guys, I found the exit! All right. Nick? Nick, why aren't you coming? Uh, I don't think we should leave. Why? W what if it's another trap? We don't really have any other options. Yeah, man, don't be such a downer. I said we should stay. Hey, man, it's going to be okay. Don't touch me! Nick, your face... Don't look! That's not really Nick! Oh my god, you're right! Y y you guys sh shouldn't have done that. Y y you're in for some real pain. Ah! Nick is some sort of zombie man! Worse. I think he's alive. Uh, okay, I guess that could be worse. Run all you want! There, there's no escape! I think I see a door up ahead. Open it, open it, open it! I'm trying, it's stuck! Don't worry, I can get it open. That's real helpful of you. Wait a minute. Got it! There's only one way out of that room. I can wait. Whoa. These are a lot of files. So, about Nick. 
What happened? He seemed like he was fine. Maybe he just never came back from when he disappeared. So who is this new Nick? I don't know. Did you hear how he spoke? He had this weird... tick. Oh my god, just like that story we read. Jeff the Killer. Um, wait, no, I think you mean Ticky Toby. Yeah, but that's like the same thing. Do you think the real Nick is still out there? I don't think so. How are we gonna get out of here? We should look around for some sort of vent. Look at you thinking on your feet. Hey, I found a file! Ugh, of course you did, there's thousands of them in here. This one looks interesting. Can I read it? Can you? Maybe you better read it. Okay, let's see. The story of Maskey. Sounds like a real winner. Go on. Okay, let's see. That other fella, Dale, he didn't believe her, did he? Oh, of course. Chris? It's Jacob. There's some sort of creeper outside my window. What do you want about man? Uh, there's a guy in a mask outside my window. A guy in a mask? Are you sure you're not imagining it? No, I took a photo. I'll send it to you. Hmm, that is pretty creepy. What do I do? You should probably call the police if you're this worried. I, I guess I should have done that be before calling you. Nah, sometimes it's better to talk it over with a friend. Okay, if I don't call you back in an hour... I'll come running over to rescue you. Thanks. Hello, this is 911. What's your emergency? I live on 138 Sycamore. Uh, there's a man outside my house with a mask on. Have they attempted to enter your house in any way? No, they're just watching me. Close all your windows and lock your doors. We'll send an officer right over. Thank you. There's nothing here. It must be my nerves. I hope that's the police. You called? Yes, yes, please, come in. Ah, oh, jeez, I bet this is going nowhere good. Yeah. I bet that masky guy is some sort of interdimensional demon from the Hades dimension. I... Uh, well, given how these stories usually go, I wouldn't be surprised. Do you think these guys all have a club? What? Well, you know, like there's Jeff and Toby and Jack and now the masky guy. They all seem like they would get along well. I do not want to get invited to that party. Just don't drink the Kool-Aid. You'll be fine. Um... Yeah. Hey. Hey. Having trouble? Um, n n no. They're trapped in there. Good. They'll keep reading files in there till the end of time. Master hasn't told me his plan yet. And he won't for a while. You have yet to prove yourself. B but I have! I have! Hardly. You were instructed to keep these bozos running in circles. You blew your cover. 
Let me prove myself, elf. Let me go in there and get them. No. We are waiting for someone. Well, go on. I want to know how it ends. It probably ends in the most gruesome way possible. Maybe not. Fine. We'll see. Follow me. He's in the backyard. All right. It's weird he hasn't tried to break in yet. Well, I don't see anyone back there. Uh, I'm not lying. I didn't say you were. It's probably just some punk kid that ran off when he saw me. You shouldn't worry about this. I'll, I'll try not to. If you're still scared, maybe call someone to keep you company. Oh, uh, okay. And if they try to get in, give us a call. Scare me this time. No, no, no signal. How is that possible? Ah, go away. What did I ever do to you? Ah! Jacob, you in there? Chris? Yeah, man, I came over to check on you. Thanks. Did you see him? The guy in the mask? No. He... he broke in. He was just here. I don't know. I didn't see anything. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe we should go somewhere else. Yeah, th that'd be a good idea. Wait, Chris, how did you get in? The, the door was locked. Chris? No! Well, that's just how I thought it would end. Yeah. It almost kind of had a happy ending. How on earth was that almost a happy ending? Well, he almost made it out of there. Almost. And let's read another and another. What about finding an exit? Well, I guess we could do that. And read stories? Ugh, you're hopeless. So we just wait till they come out? I don't know. You're the one who chased them in there. What was your plan? Well, I was gonna break down the door and bring him before the master. That's not exactly a good plan. Oh yeah? What did you have in mind? Well, I was thinking of getting them nice and scared. And how do you plan to, 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 to do that? Well, I think we just got ourselves a little help with that. So, are you gonna read another one? No, Tommy. We need to find a way out of here. Alright, but how about after we find an exit? Fine. Why do you want to read these stories anyways? Because this place is so boring. I need something to keep me entertained. You mean the supernatural house that is constantly trying to drive us insane is boring? You make it sound a lot more interesting than it really is. I can't even...
Tommy, over here. I found a vent. Oh, hey, an exit. Yeah, maybe it'll lead us out of here. Or maybe it'll lead us into the furnace. Hey, this is supposed to be a good thing. I'm just trying to be realistic. Ugh. We've been trapped in this house longer than I've been trapped in my last marriage. You know what, Tommy? Susan was a good person. What'd I say? Why are these files everywhere? Well, I didn't do it. I know you didn't. This one actually sounds a little creepy, though. What is it? It's about some sort of zombie outbreak. You wanna... read it? Fine, but once we're done, we're leaving this room. Awesome! Okay, so a guy was watching the news. This just in. An oil tanker has run aground in Cisco Harbor. It is currently leaking oil everywhere and contaminating the local wildlife. Cleanup efforts have proved ineffective. Whoa, that's only a couple blocks away. We now go live on the scene with our field reporter. Tina, you there? I'm here live on the scene of what could possibly be the worst environmental disaster in our nation's history. Now, Tina, it looks like the cleanup crews are having issues. Correct, Tom. The animals here have refused to be cleaned. They have violently fought against any attempts at cleaning them. This is highly unusual behavior. Has anyone been inside the tanker? Not yet. Rescue crews have been trying to cut a hole into the ship. All the doors have been locked shut. All we can hear is the screams from inside. Have any survivors been seen? No, Tom. No one aboard the ship has been seen. We fear the worst for them. They are cutting into the tanker now. It appears the survivors are coming out of the tanker. They uh, appear badly hurt. Looks like we are having some technical difficulties. Please stand by as we, um, sort this out. There's nothing to worry about. Everything is under control. We have word that police are on the scene and they are working things out. Oh, this out. is bad. This is real Stay bad. For more updates. It's like the end of the world out there. Now let's go to John for the weather. I've got to board up my apartment. Just wait for things to blow over. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good plan. I can make it through this. Whoa, that's nothing like my zombie plan. You have a zombie plan? Well, it could happen. No, zombies aren't real. Spoken like true zombie chow. Well, they aren't real, so why plan for something that's never going to happen? Well, no, it couldn't. It's happening in the story. Yes, but it's just a story. Wait, I thought these were historical documents. You thought that all of these highly paranormal and highly insane stories really happened? Well, when you put it like that... So what's your plan? What plan? Your zombie plan. Oh, right. Well, first things first, living in a city, that's a big zombie plan no-no. So you'll never live in a city because zombies might rise from the grave one day? Yes, correct. Okay. Go on. So I'd live away from every single person ever. And I'd have my own farm with my own solar power and my own animals. Wait, Tommy, you don't have any of that. This plan doesn't seem to hold water. No, I'd have my own reservoir too. That's not what I was saying. Oh my god. And once I have all that, it's easy street. Then people would come up to me and be like, Oh, Tommy, save us! <laughs> We need your help. And I'd be all like, no, you're just a stupid zombie. Blah, bloom. You do it. I think I'm just going to go back to reading. Okay, I should be safe now. All I have to do is wait it out. Just wait it out. 
we will continue to broadcast as long as we can. It has been three days since the tanker crashed into Cisco Harbor. Since then, a strange viral disease has swept the city. People have turned into flesh-hungry monsters. Like I don't know this. What about rescue? Word from the National Guard has been sparse, but they are working with FEMA in order to bring relief to the city. We advise that all listeners stay in their homes. That was the last station still broadcasting. I guess I'm alone for now. All alone. Maybe I should check outside. Opening the door is definitely not part of my zombie plan. Yeah, not mine either. Plus, you have a plan. Yeah, and staying in the city is not part of it. Smart thinking. All right, can we please get out of this room now? <laughs> what was that? It sounded like laughing. <laughs> Is there someone in here? <laughs> ah! Quick, push the boxes in front of the vent. Well, looks like we're stuck here. Sounds like Jeff just gave them a little surprise. Why torment them, M? Shouldn't we just get it over with? Master needs them. Alive. Why? Don't question the Master! S -s 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 sorry Master has big plans for those two. Let's just hope everything goes according to plan. You think that'll hold him? I hope so. But we need a plan, like right now. Yeah, well, there's no other way out. So which creepy killer dude do you think we can beat? Well, the one outside is Ticky Toby. And if I remember correctly, he's got some sort of super killer mystical force behind him. And who was in the vents? He had this gross, disgusting smile on his face. So I'm assuming that means he's Jeff the Killer. Well, I could take him. This is awful. We're stuck between two murderous monsters. Carl. You gotta keep your head on. How can I when everyone's trying to rip my head off? The situation has just gotten worse and worse. First we get chased around this mansion, then Nick goes missing, 
and now they're closing in on us. Corey, I know what will calm you down. Reading one of these files. We can't just keep reading these things. There's never any helpful information in them. Well, sometimes there is. Like when? Uh, you know, there had to be one time that they helped. Not a single one. Hmm. I just told you those things don't help us. Yeah? What about this one? I can't read that from here. Oh. Well, it says it's about Jane the Killer. So? She's Jeff the Killer's nemesis. Well, go on. Well, if there was ever a file that could help us, this would be the one. Well, Tommy, you're usually not correct about things. Usually, never, actually. But this could work. Read it! All right, let's see here. Jane! The new neighbors are here! I know, Mom. There's something strange about them. I heard that. They are not strange. Stop listening in on me! Come on, let's go meet them. What happened to knocking? Oh, shush. Come on, let's go. Okay, I'm coming. Looks like we'll be your neighbors. I'm Isabel Richardson. This is my daughter, Jane. It's nice to meet you. Where are you guys coming from? Oh, we're from not too far away. Oh, that's nice. Do you have children? Oh, yes. There, there's Lou. He's around here somewhere. And uh, there's Jeff. He's a little shy. That's fine. Jane here spends all her time in her room. Mom. Well, you should come over sometime for dinner. Oh, that would be lovely. Great, we'll set up a time. All right, goodbye. Well, they seem nice. Yeah, I guess. That Jeff kid. Does someone have a crush? Shut up, Mom. Where are you going? I'm going to visit the neighbors. That's good. Don't be out too late. I won't. Oh, hey. You must be Jeff. Yes, I saw you staring at me. I'm sorry. It's okay. I could use someone to talk to. I saw the cop car. Do you know any places we can go? I can show you where I go when I want to be alone. That would be perfect. This place is so nice. 
Yeah, I come here when my mom yells at me for getting bad grades, or when I get upset about stupid drama stuff. It's nice to have a place like this. Yeah, but it gets lonely sometimes. So, what happened? Some bullies were trying to take my brother's backpack. Things got out of hand and I hurt them. Badly. I feel like there's a darkness inside me. I understand. But you can't let it take control of you. You are the only one who can control you. So, what happened? What do you mean? Your face. What about it, huh? Why? Do I look like a freak? No, I'm sorry. I'm just curious. I thought you were different. I am. Me and my stupid mouth. I don't want to finish this. Why not? Something awful is going to happen to this girl. But we gotta finish it. It'll help us fight back against Jeff the Killer. I bet that's him now. What are we going to do? We better find some weapons. I got something. What is it? A big old wrench. Nice. Let me see. No, it's mine. What? I found it. Go to sleep. He's above us somehow. Go to sleep. No, wait. Now he's below us. Go to sleep. He's everywhere! We better finish the story and hope that is something useful. I can't believe it's taken so long for the neighbors to finally come over for dinner. Well, it takes a while for them to settle in. I don't know if they're coming. Why not? I heard screams from their house this morning. I'm sure it was just your imagination. I'm telling the truth. Oh, that must be them. Uh, uh, oh, hello, Jeff. Uh, uh, uh. Honey? Jane, open up. No, leave me alone. I wish I could, but you left a big impression on me. I, uh, I did? Yes, I can keep you out of my head. So you don't want to kill me? Of course not. Finally, you're awake. What's happening? What's that smell? Gasoline and bleach, my favorite cocktail. 
What are you doing to me? I'm gonna make you beautiful, like me. No, please stop. Just keep smiling, honey. That's the trick of it. <laughs> Quiet down. It's nap time now. Go to sleep. I swear, Jeff, I will find you. And I will kill you for what you've done. Nothing will be able to stop me. Not a single thing. Hmm. Well, there doesn't seem to be anything there we could use. Yeah, I know. Still a good story, though. Well, what do we do now? This is the dumbest plan. Well, that was way too easy. Let's just get out of here. We better hurry. That Jeff guy will try to follow us once he wakes up. Ah, uh, don't worry, Corey. Me and my new best friend made sure he won't be following us. New best friend? Yeah, me and Renshi are real close now. So what did you do? Well, we tightened all the bolts. That vent's not going anywhere. Well, that's one problem solved. Now we just have to find out where we're going. Well, I mean, hopefully we don't just fall right into the furnace, but... Stop saying that. Ugh. Ugh. Let me out! Let me out! <laughs> they think we'll let them out. Maybe we should. No, let's leave them in a little longer. Then we will bring them to the master. Alright, I, I... I'll follow your lead. Good. Good thing this is here. I was getting claustrophobic. Well, lucky for you, I brought some files with me. I'm not reading those. Well, don't worry. I'll read them. Will you? Oh, yes. You'll see I'm a master storyteller. Well, I guess I could listen to one of these for a change. Oh, boy. Okay. So, I picked this one because it's about my favorite video game character, Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm more of a Knuckles fan myself. Suit yourself. Game over. Dang it. I almost had it. Mom, could you get that? Mom? Hmm. She must have gone shopping. Weird. This is from Kyle. Why would Kyle mail me something? I see him like every day. Dear Tom, I'm writing this to you in hopes that you will listen to me. The disc I sent you, destroy it immediately. I don't know what sort of voodoo magic is going on with it, but it's ruined my life. I've tried smashing the disc, burning it, and even throwing it away. It just keeps coming. 
Hopefully you'll have better luck. Please destroy this, and do not play it. Well, that's some story, Kyle. It's probably just a prank. He knows I love Sonic. I can't just not play this. Let's see what we got here. Whoa, that's really weird. I bet Kyle made this to scare me. Do you want to play with me? Well, that's really weird. Sure, I guess I gotta go with yes. It looks broken. What a lame prank. Why won't this turn off? Do you want to play with me? Well, I'm trying to... Hide and seek selected. I didn't click anything. That must have been a coincidence. <laughs> yeah. Mom? Dad? Ah! Ah! Oh. oh, it must have been a dream. Right? He thought he was dreaming, but he wasn't. Yeah, I got that. But what do you think? It sounds like that other one we just read. Ben Drowned, or Den Brown, Sen Dan, but Ben Drowned. Yeah, that one. No, that one was different. This has Sonic in it. I don't know, it's about a haunted video game. That kind of makes it exactly the same. No, it doesn't. You're ruining my big moment. Your big moment? My big reading moment. Oh, oh, sorry. You better be. Now, where was I? The Honda video game part. Right. Sarah, Jean, Tom, Tom, Tom. Oh, here. Tom, do you think you could bring Kyle his homework? He's been out all week. Oh, yeah, sure. No problem. Jake, Francis, Agatha. Hey, Mrs. Bergeron. Is Kyle here? I've got his homework. No, he's gone. Oh? Where is he? He's gone. Well, here's his homework. He doesn't need it. He's gone. Oh, okay. You'll be gone soon, too. What was that all about? He's gone? Mom, I'm home. Now, where was I? Right, defeating the Covenant and saving the galaxy. What? I didn't put this in. Mom! Did you put this game in? Mom!
You really don't have to do all the voices like that. I think it gives the story some flavor. So that's how it ends? He just gets caught? Well, who really knows? I mean, maybe there's more to the story. You know, a knuckles.exe. That would be a terrible story. Yeah, says you. So I guess we should just continue down this vent? Might as well. Well, alright, let's go. Let me out. I think they've had enough. Open the door. You left me in there. I'm sorry, Ari. We didn't know you were in there. How did you get locked in there? I don't know. Sure. Let me guess. They got the best of you and you don't want to admit it? What do you know? So they're probably in the vent system now. Wow, real smart guy here. Master will be most displeased with you two. Us two? T t you're the one who interrupted my plan! I would have captured them by now if it wasn't for you. If you had just let me out, we could be hot on their tail by now. Don't blame me. I'm just here to observe. I don't need to get you guys out of the trouble you get yourself into. Why, you two-faced... I've brought them to you, Master. Why did you call us here? We were just about to catch that guy. Silence! You will speak when spoken to, Jeff the Killer. Yeah, whatever. Your insolence has been noted. Master has brought you here to explain to you why you're here. Well, aren't we supposed to be capturing th that at doofus? No. You are to let Cory wander throughout the mansion unimpeded. Why? He's just some guy who trespassed onto the wrong property. We should be making a mincemeat out of him. No. There's something special about Cory. He has an ability that has proven quite useful to our master. And what's that? You will learn in time. For now, your instructions are simple. Keep Cory scared. What about the other one? He is disposable. Get rid of him if you must. He's mine. I will dispose of him. No, he's mine. Silence. Do as you wish, but leave us. Yes, Master. Why do you stay? Why didn't you tell them what they actually are? Why keep them in the dark? All will be revealed in due time, servant. Just be grateful that Master has decided you're still useful. Yes, of course. I didn't mean to step out of line. This vent seems to go forever. Hmm. I don't see anything. It looks like the lights are off in that room. Let me see. No, wait your turn. I'm looking. Ugh, get out of here. Just, just let me in. Get out of Stop it. Ow. Uh, where am I?
Tommy? Tommy? Where are you? Hello? I'm all alone now. I'm just surrounded by these stupid files. And I bet there's no way out. This is hopeless. All I have are these things to keep me company. I guess I could read one. Maybe Tommy will hear me reading these and come running. <sighs> okay, let's see. The story of Hoodie. Hey, look. It's our good friend Hoodie. How's it going, Hoodie? That's not my name. If it's not your name, then why do you always wear that stupid hoodie, huh? Yeah, you wear it every day. Is it some sort of safety blanket? No. Well then, what is it? It was my brother's. Aw, you mean that football player that crashed? Yeah, I already was so messed up they hardly had anything to bury. Stop it. Oh, is little Hoodie going to cry? I said stop. Ha! He thinks he's going to fight us. See you later, loser. Why do they hurt me? They fear you. What? What? Do not be frightened of me, boy. You're a talking dog. You're a talking human. What are you? Follow me. You didn't answer me. What are you? I'm the darkness that lies in man's heart. I am the shadow of evil, and I am your best friend right now. That... that doesn't make sense. We're not really friends. You will learn to appreciate me. That sounds like a threat. What is your deepest desire? I just wish I was left alone. Everybody picks on me, and I'm sick of it. Even my mom rags on me. That can be arranged. What does that mean? You will learn. Where are we going? My master has taken notice of you. You have a master? Is that where we're going? To see him? Yes, and he's rather intrigued by you. Was that... a dream? I thought you said this was a shortcut. Shut up, it is! I think. Come on, this way's too dark. Don't be a coward, dude. Do you hear that? There's nothing there. Ah! Ah! You're up early. I had a bad dream. Oh, hun, it was just a dream. You shouldn't be scared of things like that. You're not a kid anymore. Yeah. 
I don't want you walking by the woods anymore. Why? It's the quickest way home. I just saw on the news they found two kids in the woods. They looked like they were mauled by wild animals. Two kids? They were high schoolers. No one you would know. Oh. Just make sure you walk along Main Street. If they couldn't defend themselves, I doubt you could. I can take care of myself. We both know that's not true. Without your brother looking after you. Stop, Mom! Okay, okay. Just don't go anywhere near those woods. I can't lose you too, hun. Okay, Mom. I won't. Hello? Creepy dog guy? There you are! What did you do? I did what you asked me to. I never asked you to hurt anyone. You wanted to be left alone. I made sure those kids would never bother you again. Not like that. No matter. Now you owe me a favor. I'll never help you. Do you want to end up like those kids? No. Good. Now take those. Ow, this is really itchy. Go home. No, I can't. I have to go to school. Y you know what? This is crazy. Why am I even doing any of this? Why can't I take this off? What is this? Go home and do what needs to be done. No! Do as master commands. Ah, it, it hurts! Do it. Richie, is that you? Hmm, weird. There. I did what you wanted me to. Now let me go. Let me go and live out my miserable life. Take this mask off me! I'm done helping you! No. No? No! That's enough of that. Master quite likes you. He has other uses for you. No! Y you said I could be alone now! We changed our mind. No! Wow, that sure was grim. Right, Tommy? Tommy? Oh. Right. I guess he hasn't found me yet. I better look for him. Tommy! Tommy? Oh, my face! What is this room? Hello? Hello? Carl? Corey? Who's there? Who, who's there? Corey? Is that you? You're not Corey! Tommy? Tommy? Where are you, buddy? He's such an easy prey. Why don't we just get this over with right now? Master would be most displeased if we- Shh. Who made the master the master anyways? He's the only reason we're here now. And we're supposed to be grateful for that? Yes! Will you be quiet 
you'll alert him. Is someone there? Crap, he's coming towards us. What do we do? Seriously, you're such a coward. Hello again. Oh, you again! That's right, I'm back to finish the job. I, I gotta get out of here! You can't run from us. Oh yes, I can! <laughs> what a chump. You better not lay a finger on him. I said I wouldn't. Do I look like a liar? Yes. Oh, oh, I lost him. You can't run from us. <laughs> what a chump. This place is such a mess. Ah! Another one! This is getting to be fun. I know. This is delicious. Okay, I think I lost them. For real this time. Ow! Just my luck. What's this? Laughing Jack. Interesting. If I know my creepy stories, which I do, that guy back there was Eyeless Jack. Maybe this guy's like his arch rival. Two Jacks. Maybe I should read it. It's time to come in. Coming. James, were you talking to someone out there? Yeah, I made a new friend. Oh, really? Yeah, he's so cool. Why didn't your friend come inside for lunch? Well, you didn't invite him in, Mom. Oh, how rude of me. Should I invite him in? Yeah. Okay, what's his name? Laughing Jack. That's an interesting name. Mm-hmm. He's a clown. He's got red hair, big swirly nose, really long arms, and he has those funny clown shoes on. Sounds pretty funny. Yeah, he's always making jokes. Laughing Jack, do you want some lunch? I don't think he wanted to come in. What do you mean? He's right next to you. Just finish your lunch, James. We have errands to run. Good night, James. Good night, Mommy. Say good night to Laughing Jack, too. James, you know that Laughing Jack isn't real, right? Nuh uh, he's super real. You're a little too old for an imaginary friend, James. 
I told you he's real. We'll talk about this in the morning. Sleep tight. Say goodnight to Jack. James, what did I tell you about leaving toys in Mommy's room? That wasn't me, Mommy. That was Laughing Jack. Well, tell Laughing Jack that he can't leave toys in my room. Okay, Mom. Can I go play outside? Just for a little bit. Then we have to go to the supermarket. Yippee! Come get breakfast. James? James, what did I tell you about leaving the backyard? But Laughing Jack. No more of this Laughing Jack nonsense, James. Don't ever leave the backyard again. Okay. Now what do you say? Sorry. Come on, let's get some food in you. you behave better tomorrow. It's not my fault, Mom. It was Laughing Jack. You've been a very bad boy today, and I don't want you talking about this Laughing Jack anymore. But Mom, he's my friend. He's not real. Yes, he is. You'll see. What? Honestly, James, I just don't know what's gotten into you. Okay, 
Hey, James. Mommy's here. No! No! My baby! Whoa, that was a twist. It sure was, Kelly. But let's read more terrible stories. Well, I guess we do have a bunch more to read. They're everywhere, and it's not like we're getting out of here anytime soon. Man, Tommy, you sure are right. This guy's nuts. I don't think we can judge. I don't know about you, but I'm the big Jew of sanity. Right. Man, this guy is so annoying. Makes me just want to. Don't. Wow, Carl, you're such a good storyteller. You're the best friend anyone could ask for. Aw, oh, thanks, Tommy. Aw, oh, another one? Fine. Just take me. I don't care anymore. Oh, Cory. I'm here to help you. Help me? Yes. I'm the best chance you've got at getting out of here. Huh? Huh? Her? What is she doing here? It looks like she's helping Cory. We have to stop her. Why? She's going to ruin everything. So do you want to get out of here or not? Well, yeah. Let's get going. So, what's, uh, your name? It's Jane. Right. Just Jane? Or, like, Jane the Killer? I guess one might call me that. Because you're a killer? Yes. So you are Jane the Killer? Yes. You might not believe it, but I've actually heard of you. I know. I'm pretty famous. No, no, no. Not, not like that. You see these files all around us? How could I not? Well, I've been reading them, and one of them was actually about you. Really? Yeah, it was about how you were in love with this Jeff the Killer and how- I am not in love with Jeff the Killer. Well, it seemed like it in the story. I hate him, and I hope he dies. I hope he gets run over by one of those cement rollers. Slowly. Yeah, remind me not to get on your bad side. I'll warn you right now, Corey. If you ever cross me, it'll be the last thing you'll ever do. Right? Let's just confront her. I don't think that's... Okay, let's go. Uh, this is not a good idea. Hello, Jane. Jeff, I knew you'd be here. Well then, I hope you're prepared. I don't want a repeat of last time. Let's just get this over with. <laughs> Man, they're really going at it. I know, right? Uh, I'd better get going. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Well, it looks like you'll have to wait a little longer. What? We better go tell the master. We better go tell the master. See, this is why no one likes you. You haven't won this, Jeff. I'll be back. Man, am I glad to be away from them. Especially that crazy chick. Ah! Jane! You're... alive. Great. I have something for you. Please let it be food. Please let it be food. Please let it be food. It's this file. 
Oh, a file? Yes, I want you to read it. Why? No reason. That sounds really suspicious. Read. Okay, okay. Let's see. Homicidal Lou. That's weird. You're awake, Lou. What happened? Shush, don't worry about that. No, what happened? Don't move around. Calm down, I'll tell you. Thank you. It seems there was a fire at your house and your neighbors. The police think it's arson. Arson? Jeff, where's Jeff? I don't know who that is. You should kill the nurse. What? No! Oh, um, nothing. Please, get some rest. What's wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with this, Lou. Who are you? I'm your inner darkness. Your brother unlocked me from your subconscious. You can call me Sully. This is crazy. I'm talking to myself. This has got to be a dream. Oh, it's real. All of it. Your crazy brother, your dead family, the fire, all real. Oh, jeez. Kill the nurse. No. Do it. It's your first step in getting revenge. Revenge? Yes, on Jeff. He needs to be taken care of. Okay. Uh, tell me what to do. Who are you? You don't recognize me? No, I don't. Do you know who I am? You're Jeff's brother. I've got a bone to pick with him. So do we. We? I like that. So you want revenge? Do you hear him too? Hear what? Um, nothing. Man, you've got a few screws loose. Oh, um, thanks? You're welcome. So, what's the plan? First, we get out of here. Second, we find Jeff. Third, we kill him. I like this plan. I wonder where they went. What? Who's there? Hello, Jeff. You. Yes, it's me, Jeff. Did you forget about me? Did you forget what you did to us? Us? Hello, brother. So, you survived. Looks like it. Guess you're tougher than I thought. I'm more than I used to be. 
So what is this, some sort of trap? Yes, I tracked you down, figured out your next target, and then I got to them before you. How twisted. Don't even get me started on all the crazy stuff she's been saying. Hey, we're on the same team. <laughs> you twerps think you can stop me? We can try. So try. better this time. What did you do to her? She's just sleeping. You should go to sleep too. No! I'll never forgive you, Jeff. Good. Wouldn't expect you to. Jeff! He screamed out passionately. That was a beautiful portrayal. Thank you. So you wanted me to read that story because you were in it, right? Right. Such a diva. So, where's the way out? I think it's over this way. I'm sorry, but it appears that this Jane girl is helping Cory. Why would she do such a thing? Why is she not loyal to Master? Well, you see, me and her have history. History? Yeah, I'm kind of the reason she's the way she is. Interesting. So she has a grudge against you? Well, yeah. This has been noted. So, what do we do now? Inform everyone. Cory is to be brought before the Master. It is time. Yes, Master. So what do you do for fun, Jane? Mostly stalk people. Sometimes hurt them. Think about Jeff. Make fan art. Oh, geez. Sorry I asked. Why do you ask? Well, we're stuck together, and I think that getting to know who you're stuck with is important. Well, why don't you tell me about you? Well, I'm just your average guy who got stuck in a haunted mansion, and I was living an actual nightmare. Sounds lovely. Yeah, but not really. Hold on, something doesn't seem right. I know what you mean. Uh-oh. You can't fight us all off, so don't even try. I wasn't going to! I'm not talking to you. Well, fine, sorry. Who are your little friends? Well, my name is Toby. Shut up. Well, she asked. You're not shutting up. <sighs> okay. You think we'll just come willingly with you? Well, I wouldn't necessarily rule that option out. You won't be hurt. Munch? Where are you taking us? You will be meeting our master. Oh, I remember him. Tall, pale, smells like mothballs. 
You were not supposed to talk about Master like that. Man, that guy's a real jerk. I hate that man more than you could possibly imagine, Corey. Yeah, I know. I read your file, remember? That's true. And I read Jeff's file, and Jack's file, and Toby's file. Weird. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Yeah, well, it looks like we have some time to kill. What could they possibly be doing that would take this long? Why can't we just get this over with? I don't know, maybe they're planning a surprise party. That can't be what's going on. Why? Because it's just so stupid. Well, I did bring this file to pass the time. Are you sure you want to read that? Um, yeah, it's just a file. Jeez. Let's see, this one is... Another murderous sociopath girl. Go on. Well, it's titled Clockwork. Hmm... I hate those little monsters. They ruined my life. I wish they were never born. Dear Diary, things have been getting worse. Dad hates me and Lucas. Every night this week, he's come home angry and hateful. I try to hide in my room, but... Did you do this? Do what? Don't play dumb with me. The wall. Did you draw on my wall? It's just marker. It'll wash off. You ruined it. Now go clean it, or so help me God. That's the way it was. My father would yell at me for every little thing, but my brother, Lucas, he was somehow worse. Hey, Natalie, want to help me with something? I'm in the middle of this. Come on, it'll only take a second. Okay. Could you go outside and grab my helmet from the shed? Why can't you? Because I have to help mom with dinner. Just do this for me. Okay. Let me in! It's raining! No. This is your punishment for being so stupid. Please? Nah. The time isn't right. The only person who I could count on was my boyfriend Chris. But he had other ideas about us. So why are we meeting under here? Listen, there's no easy way to say this, but I think we should break up. What? Why? You're so distant, Natalie. You never open up about yourself. You're always just so negative. I think our time's up. Please don't do this to me. I'm sorry. And that was it. The final straw. I went home that night to put a smile on my face. Chris said I was always so negative, so I decided to give myself a smile. A permanent smile. They threw me into therapy for that little stunt. I didn't care. Nothing really mattered to me. Now, Natalie, it says in your file that your family has been abusive towards you. Would you mind explaining? I would, actually. Well, I can't very well help you if you don't tell me your problems. You want to know what's bothering me? Of course. That's why I'm here. It's time. Time. That's my problem. Time? Yes, time. Time makes you live through it, slowly progressing through life, being controlled by society, only to be tortured for seemingly no end until you find you no longer have a purpose. Natalie. Natalie isn't here anymore, Blondie. Why, I never... There's nothing you can do to help me, Doc. Just leave me be. I'm sorry. You should probably leave. That night I heard myself. My real self. 
tonight was the night I would exact my revenge. Huh? What's happening? Time's up, father. Ah! Sleep tight, Lucas. Let me out! No, the time isn't right. Time is always moving. Time is the face of the uncaring world. That's why I adopt time. That's why I let it mask me. Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. Like sand through an hourglass, time doesn't pause for the fallen. Henceforth, I will be known as Clockwork. I like her. She seems nice. It's time. Come with me. Can't I just stay here? No. This is a party just for you. I told you it was a surprise party. Welcome, Welcome. Corey. What is all this? This is the result of all your hard work. What do you mean? Why do you think you've been reading all of those files, Corey? Why do you think you're here? I was hired by Mr. Whipple to steal files. And who is Mr. Whipple? Well, I never met him, but... But nothing. He was a lie. A pretense towards getting you to come here. Why? Why put me through this? Just so you twisted freaks can watch me read about you? Oh, you're so close to the truth, but so far. Then what? What is this all about? You see, Cory, you have a special ability. Your fears, your darkest thoughts, they manifest into reality. I'm not sure I follow. When you read these stories, they become reality. You brought all of us here. And we wanted to thank you. No, this isn't possible. This is just a nightmare. No, this is the world you have created, and we've been waiting for you. We have a very special story for you to read. I'll never read another one of these things again. You don't have much of a choice. You think you can fight all of us? No. I can't. So, who put you in charge? What? Who says you're in charge? Well, I'm not. The master is. The slender man. And who cares about him? Why isn't someone like Jeff in charge? Jeff? That numbskull? I'm right here, you munt. Please, Jeff, restrain yourself. Restrain myself? I'm so sick of taking orders from some dog. I speak for the master. Yeah, I don't really care. I should be in charge. I'm the dovest one here. Please sit down. We don't want you to be hurt. Why you? Master, stop this! Oh, you want to go too? What's happening? I can't move! <laughs> Now's our chance. Let's go! Okay, where do we go from here? What? I thought you knew the way out. Kinda, sorta? Kinda, sorta. You're supposed to know the way! 
I know the way. You! Yes, me. I know the way out of here. I can show you. Can we trust him? Nah, who am I kidding? I trusted her. Why would you help us? Those guys in there are no better than the bullies who called me Tiki. Well, I would never bully you, Tiki. I, I mean, Toby. Come on, follow me. We will dispose of you later. But now, we have something to read. Isn't that right, Corey? Corey? Where'd the guy with the ugly face go? <laughs> yeah, pot calling the kettle black. He's gone. Find him. Bring him back. And whatever you do, don't let him leave the mansion.